Based on the Peter Brennan novel of the same name, Razorback is an Australian horror about a gigantic boar who attacks and kills people in the outback. The movie opens at a house in the Australian outback where Jake Cullen is looking after his grandchild. Suddenly the house is attacked by the giant boar. It smashes its way through, snatching up the child and disappearing into the night. Well, naturally, Cullen isn't believed his tale of the giant boar, but with there being no proof of him being involved in the child's disappearance, he's acquitted, but swears revenge on the boar. Two years later, Beth Winters, a wildlife reporter, is also attacked and killed by the boar. This after she escapes and attempted rape by some hicks. It's a brutal scene, the sound effects in particular are horrific as she's dragged from the car. Soon after her disappearance, her husband Carl comes looking for her. He meets her would-be rapist and suspects they may know something, so plays along with them and goes out on a hunt with them into the outback, where they abandon him. He's forced to trek on foot, suffers dehydration and has some wild hallucinations before eventually collapsing at the home of Sarah. She nurses him back to health and the two, together, decide to go on the look for his wife. Unfortunately for them, the giant boar's rampage is now beginning to pick up and Jake Cullen certainly hasn't forgot. Razorback deserves credit for the imagination used, the impressive effects, the generally horrifying moments and its tension building. It might be called Razorback, but a boar probably has about 15 minutes of total screen time, and most of that coming in the finale. Instead, it focuses more on Carl's attempt to get revenge for the death of his wife, which he believes was at the hand of the Hicks. It's a bit disappointing, but it does mean when a giant boar does make an appearance, it's really thrilling stuff. The film has some interesting shifts in tone. Light one minute, dark the next with some trippy psychedelic moments during Carl's hallucinations. These are cool, but they do throw the balance of the film off, making you question just what you're watching. Those hoping for a cheesy B-movie will be disappointed, as this is a more serious toned film. As long as you don't look too hard at the performances, of which there are some very sketchy ones. Not terrible acting, just awkwardly delivered dialogue and a total lack of chemistry between the leads. That aside, Razorback is a fairly fun flick that is dripping in 80s style. It's not ageing well but still holds up surprisingly well considering its low budget. If you've not seen it, it's a very entertaining movie, well worth a watch. A serious recommendation by us.